So the mural itself is really a representation of basically all the different um, sort of departments, if you will, of NAMI. So for example, um, one of the parts of NAMI that's really important to me are the walks. That's my intro introduction personally to NAMI itself. When I was a child, I went on those walks and I didn't know how important they were at the time. But now that I've been kind of more involved with NAMI, um, I realize Kind of their importance. Um, there's other figures also depicted in the mural, such as um, politicians, kind of represent the policymakers that are involved in NAMI, as well as educators and the phone lines that are so important, and also um, kind of the doctors representing both the medical side of things, but also the board members that are so integral to kind of the inner workings of the organization. So they're all put together in a certain way that kind of um, gives a continuity that connects to the way in which they all work together. So the color scheme um, done deliberately based off of the NAMI colors um, because I wanted to have that representation of NAMI in there, but also at the same time to make things a little bit ambiguous so that I'm not depicting someone specific, I'm basically depicting anyone that can participate in NAMI. So they're age ambiguous, racially ambiguous for the most part, and so that allows people to kind of relate to the mural themselves. So we got involved in NAMI when my children were very young and we did our first NAMI walk with NAMI Mercer. And Catherine mentioned that's why she signed her uh, signed the mural on the walker because that was her first experience with NAMI, and she most identifies with the, the walker because that's what she remembers from when she was younger. But I've been involved with NAMI for um, a few decades, uh, on and off, doing different volunteer activities, and left a big impression on Catherine. So that's why she chose to join the enter the contest. And we're very proud of her.